Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. This week Supernatural brought back an old friend to make things right and played off a plot point set off all the way back in season 8. It also let us know that Dean is the world's worst ghost whisperer. Did he learn nothing from ghost facers? I'll also be including some bits about the spin-off show Tribes after I speechify this episode. And I've got some details about the special fandom Oscars event I'm going to do this weekend. It's just going to be a fun way to riff on the regular Oscars, only just for science fiction and fantasy stuff. So be sure to subscribe to participate. I'll be posting a video soon that'll explain how that's all going to work. So for this episode, let's do our top five moments, and then I'll do my review, and then I'll talk about the spinoff show. So careful for spoilers if you haven't seen the episode yet. But number five, Castiel versus Bartholomew. Sure, he had the B storyline this week, but it was a really nice twist to make the evilish angel Bartholomew Castiel's former comrade in arms. If you hadn't seen it yet, the whole Raphael war they were talking about was from season 6, which is on Netflix right now. But the whole exchange made it seem like they were setting up Castiel to become the new god, either at the end of this season or in season 10. Not in the way he was god during season 7, but a newer, wiser, more benevolent leader, with a lot more city miles on him. I don't know about you guys, but I totally wasn't surprised when those other angels showed up to follow him at the end of the episode. Meet the newest angel faction in the War for Heaven. Let me know what you think we should call him. Number 4, Tiger Mom Electrician. So it was funny to see her author her own escape via the electrical panel and to see Sam's reaction, but based on the timeline, I feel like she would have at least tried to escape a few times. I mean, she is Tiger Mom, she's not just gonna sit there. They didn't really acknowledge any attempted breakouts, but I think it's implied that she was chained to the opposite wall because she had tried to escape so many times. I mean, if you're smart enough to MacGyver a control panel, then you can probably pick a lock. Number 3, Tiger Mom Part 2, Revenge of the Tiger Mom. I love the setup for her killing Demon Dell. I knew he was working with Crowley, and he'd clearly gone Fruit Loops, but I did not realize that he was a demon until she stabbed him. So for most of that exchange, I actually thought that she was just going to revenge murder him. Number 2, Tran Family Reunion. It had been teased for the entire episode and was a huge payoff to Crowley's lie that he had killed her back in Season 8. I love that as dark as Supernatural gets, it kind of takes some of the worst things back. The big tease at the end though was that Kevin's spirit is going to start to get really twisted from staying on Earth too long. His mom acknowledges it and as happy as the moment was, I felt like there was this really dark overtone. And my number one moment, no surprise here, Kevin is back. I separated this from the reunion because it was the biggest surprise of the episode. I was a little blown away that they revealed him as the ghost so quickly, and at how quickly they brushed over Sam killing him. Kevin seemed like he was totally over it and just happy to carry on in his old role sending them on missions, albeit for a slightly more personal one this time. Bringing him back was such a huge thing that I was surprised they didn't tease any haunted bunker moments in previous episodes. But the good news is, is that until they fix heaven, Kevin is stuck on earth, so you'll know he'll be back in another episode. Now it's your turn, let me know what was your favorite moment, and how else do you think that Ghost Kevin is going to help them this year? Overall I gave the episode a solid B+, for paying off two really important plot points with the Kevin story and teasing a major shift in the Castiel character and the War for Heaven. Bonus points for getting rid of Bartholomew, he was totally a dick. More to the Castiel story though, I always kind of viewed him as the conscience of the show, the one that always considers the moral implications of what they're doing. So I think that Misha Collins did a great job of showing with his performance that Castiel totally understands that he's probably going to end up having to be God, or at least the leader of heaven again. The factions are really just the first step. Eventually his will get bigger, and regardless of how it happens, he'll be in charge. I think they're trying to imply though that this time, things will be better. The only things that I thought could have been better were drawing out the Kevin reveal till the end of the episode instead of at the beginning, and Dean felt like he almost didn't belong in the episode. If they had dropped maybe five of his lines, Sam could have done this whole mission by himself. Now let's talk about some spinoff. They have finally cast the leads for Tribes. Just like the original, there are two leads. Lucian Laviscount and Nathan Buzolik. They're going to air a backdoor pilot episode on April 29th as a regular Supernatural episode. It will introduce the characters and set up what the main series arc is going to be the first season. The show will be centered in Chicago and it'll be like a noirish monster mafia crime drama. Think of it like the Untouchables with monsters. Or you could even compare it to the way Joss Whedon's Angel worked in and around Los Angeles with all the different monster and demon factions. Here are some details about the characters. Laviscount will play Ennis Roth, a police officer whose fiance is killed in a monster mafia turf war. He dedicates himself to ridding Chicago of monsters. His co-star, Buzolik, will play David Hayden, a shapeshifter from one of the most powerful monster families who's given up the life and has been living as a human. He'll team up with Ennis to help him clean up the city. Like I said, this will all play out on that episode on April 29th. Remember, Fandom Oscars coming up this weekend. I'll try and post a video in the next day or two kind of explaining how that's going to work. 
Right now, click here to get my latest Supernatural video and click here to learn all about the Flash spinoff with Grant Gustin. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tonight. High fives.